Hi guys. Today we're doing a collective read. Um, sorry I haven't been on the tarot reads lately. I just started work at this new place I moved in. And, you know, I've been really busy. So, I just haven't had time to sit down and do a full reading. But, today we're not doing a full reading. We're just doing a collective. And the collective energy I was feeling as I just woke up was there is some sort of karmic justice being served. There is some sort of karmic justice being served. And somebody is not happy about it. Specifically for most of you, this karmic justice is coming from you, my collective. And, you know, maybe you finally put your foot down about something. Maybe, you know, you told someone off or gave someone some advice that they really needed. Somehow, some way, you came in contact with someone else's karmic cycle and you were a catalyst by the universe to help that person or these people, this group of people, to help them through that karmic cycle and to help them have a direction on how they needed to change. And basically what I'm hearing is instead of taking your advice and taking it to heart, um, I feel like whoever these people were, or this person was, they took it personally. I feel like they took it actually really personally. And, you know, the whole time they could have been... The whole time while you were talking to them about this karmic cycle, they could have been acting like, oh yeah, no, I totally understand. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Um, for some of you, they could have been like that, but secretly they were just like staring daggers at you and wanting you to just shut the fuck up because it felt like you were threatening their power and so in their head they were just kind of like mm, okay the collective thinks that they know what they think sure whatever whatever and for some of you this person wasn't even like acting like they understood they weren't even pretending to be nice they were just like what like, you were sitting here explaining the most clear, understandable shit, being very crystal clear. And this person was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Instead of, like, being... How could you put this? Instead of just being calm about it or being respectable about it or not taking it super seriously even if the person didn't agree with what you said or agree with what what you were saying like this person could have just been like okay i don't agree with you but i hear i hear you but no this person was like for some of you, they outright were like just started blowing the fuck up and being super overreactive. How do I explain this? Like, whatever you said to this person, this person could have easily reacted calmly and normally. In fact, I feel like the universe expect expected them to just calm the fuck down and respond normally. Um. But for some reason, I'm pretty sure um, this person was triggered by their own karmic patterns. And so for a lot of you, they didn't, they weren't even acting nice or pretending to listen to what you had to say. They were being like, um, you sound like a dumbass right now. They were like, they just had this mocking energy where they where they were acting like everything you were saying was like dumb or that you didn't know what you were talking about or that like you thought you had the knowledge and you thought you were sounding so smart like they were being really mocking about it like oh you think you're smart you think you're giving me advice right now like they, they were just being really rude about it they were just like oh <laughs> you fucking dumbass you don't know anything um 
And this couldn't have been the exact words they were saying. For some of you, it was. But it was more like the tone they had or the mindset they had. Um, and they were just being very aggressive with their words, very combative with anything you would try to say um, in your own defense. Like, no, I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't trying to offend you or be aggressive towards you. You were just stepping forward to help my collectives. You were step forward. You were stepping forward. Look at this, ki this King of Cups with the best intentions. Not only are you saying your true words, not only are you saying your truth with this advice you were giving or with this whatever you were telling this person about the karmic cycle, but you're also you are also heeding your own advice, my my collectives. Like y'all are not hypocrites. The things you were saying to this person, you were also heeding that advice, or you weren't gonna like turn around and be like some oh well monkey see but monkey do but not monkey do like you are true to your own words you're not just gonna say that to someone else acting like they need a change without you having already changed in that way so basically what i'm trying to say everything you were you were saying and everything you were expressing was truthful and came from your own heart and was also something that you would readily listen to someone else if they were telling you that and do you know you weren't being hypocritical about your words but what i'm really feeling with all this green energy because look at this emperor right now can't really see it that well there's a lot of green surrounding him some reds and some yellows but a lot of green um with the red here this person felt a little bit anger like their reaction, their immediate reaction was rooted in anger. And then with the yellow, I'm feeling like they felt not only a little bit of shame at their anger, it's like they knew their anger was shameful, but they were still doing it as they were feeling it was shameful. But the reason they were still doing it, even though they felt it was shameful, was because, again, they felt their power was threatened or they felt their position was threatened. Like they had a specific position and whatever you said to them, threw them the fuck off and now they're like focusing their willpower in that moment they were focusing their willpower on re-establishing that control they didn't think oh i can re-establish this control on my own they were like you are the problem you are the one who is what's it called what's the word provoking my status or provoking my authority or whatever i don't know but it's this energy where this person completely did a 180 and was like no you are the problem like for some people um they were acting nice to your face and acting like they understood what you said but then they turned around and went to somebody else or went in their room or went home and were crying to themselves not even crying but just pity party and they were like no i'm not the one who's in the wrong the collective is the one who's in the wrong and i'm sorry i keep saying the collective i just when i say the collective i mean you like the one who is watching um but they were like the collective doesn't even know they're wrong like they think i'm the one with the problem no they're the one with the problem and like they sat there and convinced themselves that they were like the collective is actually crazy because they think i'm the problem but they don't realize they're actually the crazy one for convincing themselves that you were the problem for voicing your truth i don't know and with all this green all this green um, this person, for some of you, could be really financially stable or financially well off and still have this deep-rooted insecurity, and that had something to do with the karmic cycle you were addressing to them. Um, for others of you, this person has buried and repressed feelings of jealousy towards you, and this popped out in this situation um, somehow. Like um any any jealousy they had over you any past anger they had over you anything like that um anytime you ever made a mistake this person sat there and was like thinking about that over and over again to try and justify their own 
bruised ego or their own feelings of hurt towards whatever you said to them. Um, and it's just like, there's this large feeling of jealousy. Like there's the anger, there's the shame, but then the, the jealousy is a whole nother issue. And I'm feeling like the jealousy really is a so con subconsciously this person wants to come from like wants to understand you wants to see where you're coming from but consciously they are fighting against that because it's a karmic cycle um so subconsciously they are jealous of your ability to just see and understand those things that they are refusing to see um and they're also jealous of your ability to stand up and say to them exactly what the problem is or exactly how you feel um you know the ba the balance of things is being threatened by whatever this person has going on like they're jealous of the fact that you can voice that and actually be like hey something's wrong here and we can change it um you have a really progressive attitude, my collectives. You're really emotionally open and stable um, and readily open to communicating with people and understanding their side. And I feel like this person doesn't even realize they're jealous of that about you because it's like this person did not want to voice how they truly felt about what you were saying. They did not want to be like, I don't give a fuck what you're trying to say. I don't give a fuck if you feel uncomfortable by this or that. I don't give a fuck if you don't think there's balance with this or that. Do I care? Look at me, I'm in this position of power. Do I look like I care? <laughs> you've done all these other things to me. You've always done this to me. You've always done that to me. So I don't know why you're talking to me right now. Like you're trying to give me advice. Like this person deep down, like when you were saying these things to them, their immediate reaction was bitterness, like heavy bitterness. They were taking it personally. They felt like it was an attack on them. And the specific flavor of whatever you were telling them, they really didn't like it. They didn't like being put in their place in that way, I guess you could say. Um, maybe nobody's ever talked to them talked to them like that about that specific karmic cycle before. But yeah. This person is most likely yeah not getting over this still um this could have been recently or this could have been like really recently like yesterday or today but i am saying this person's not going to get over this anytime soon um yeah the universe put this person in a position where they had a choice to look at the situation calmly and be open to communication and you know try and fix their karmic cycle you were there to help them with that you know and instead of seeing you as someone who could help them as someone who was being there for them they saw you as someone who was how do i put this causing the karmic cycle that's what it is they saw you as someone who was the reason the karmic cycle was even being brought up as a problem in the first place they were like it's only a problem because collective thinks it's a problem. Um, so now this person, after that, is just trying to remove you from your energy because they don't want to associate themselves with your mindset, I guess you could say. So they could be doing this to your face by just telling you off. But for most of you, this person's going behind your back and thinking a bunch of bad shit about you. Like shifting their mindset so that they don't trust you anymore they don't think they're they're your friend anymore but they're doing this all on their own um they're not actually talking to you about it but they are talking to other people about it um i feel like this person is fueled by a lot of anger and a lot of insecurity so they will go around telling everybody about what you said to them in a fit of anger and then be like well, was I right, though? Wasn't I in the right, though? Wasn't I in the right, though? It's like they're unsure. Even with all this anger, they still have this, like, slight feeling of guilt of, like, okay, well, was I even in the right for that? Um, and so it's like they're looking outward for some sort of confirmation um, of that stability. But... 
they're looking outward for that confirmation that they don't need to change, that they were in the right to not be changing that karmic cycle and instead be blaming you for it. And this person could even be twisting the story to make you seem like a bad person to make it easier for them to get people around them to say, oh yeah, you were totally in the right. Don't change. You don't need to change. That was totally just the collective's problem. They didn't even know what they were talking about. Yeah. This person is not ready for this karmic cycle. They were not ready for it. And they, but you know what they were ready for? They were ready to pull that, pull all of that bullshit on you. They were ready to be like, I don't want to fix this karmic cycle, but I'm ready to blame the collective for it. Like, this person, it's just fucked up because you could have had a, a good relationship with this person. You could have been close with them. You could have um, been really, like, recently trying for them or putting in an effort for them, if that makes sense. Um, like, there's this energy where you put genuine effort and love into this relationship, my collectives, and this person just so easily chose to blame you and to act like you were the bad guy for whatever this was like they knew you were being truthful with this king of cups they saw you as being open openly emotional very open and truthful with everything you were feeling saying exactly what you were feeling saying exactly how you felt about the situation they saw you as very emotionally stable in that moment they knew what, you, like, they knew what you were saying was, like, valid. They knew what you were saying was, like, didn't come from malicious intent. It wasn't you trying to attack them. Um, but since it's a karmic cycle, they still felt that bitterness whenever you were talking about it. Um, that made them feel like they should blame you for it. And they had that choice where they were like, hmm... I can address these feelings within me. I can address this immediate bitterness I felt about this and this immediate negativity I just wanted to project upon hearing about this. Um, or I could just project all of it. I could just project all of it. And that's what they chose. And it's like, it's, it's this energy where they didn't even think about it all that much. They were just like, no, I'm just going to project my anger. <sighs> Even though y'all could have been so close, this person just threw you right under the bus um, immediately when it came to a real karmic cycle or a, a real problem having to do with their karmic cycle. When genuinely, all you were there to do, all you were trying to do was help them. That's genuinely all you were there for. And this person just threw you under the bus. This could be good tarot readings about you. Um, I feel like they're upset because any tarot readings they get about you just describe you as this empress energy or as having this abundance or honesty or spiritual truth. And it's like they're grasping at straws to try and get these negative tarot readings to make sense for the situation. Um, it feels like they're really upset that the tarot readings they aren't the tear readings they are getting aren't resonating the way they want them to, um, to make them feel like the victim. This person really wants to victimize themselves in the situation, be like, my authority was threatened, my power was threatened. Like, they really want to be the victim because they really don't want to address the fact that they were the ones ignoring their karmic cycle. Um, Spirit is saying this was a test from the universe on this person. Um, whether or not, um, what, not only whether or not they could change their karmic cycle, but also if they deserve to be in your lives in the next cycle. My collectives, you are coming into some sort of new cycle in your life, um, a major one. And I feel like the universe is trying to ch test this person and see if they had the guts to be there at that stage of your life. They don't. They didn't, they don't, they showed their true colors right in that moment, and you should take that for future edge, future reference. In that moment, they showed you their true colors. If they were acting nice to you and then did something behind your back, that was their true colors. 
even if they might have not done something tangible and it's just a feeling you have that they aren't happy with whatever you said. That intuitive feeling, that feeling of negativity you feel from them, that's their true colors. They're not ready to change. They are not ready to transform in the way that you are getting ready to in this next phase of your life, my collective. So that's why the universe is saying um, they had to test this person and then now they're having to remove them because of what they did. Whatever this person did to you, they could have gotten mad and blocked you. You could have gotten mad and blocked them. Whatever the case is, you need to recognize this person's not anytime soon going to face that karmic cycle. For a long time, they are going to blame that karmic cycle on you until somebody else comes along and does the same shit to them. You know what I mean? Because they're going to keep getting people showing them that same karmic cycle until they actually change. So they're going to keep blaming you until the next karmic person comes along. Honestly, you need to remove yourself from this situation, this person. It's not good for you. It's not good for the next cycle that's coming up in your life. This person isn't already removed. You need to remove them because they are going to be a detriment to your energy because of the jealous, the secret jealousy they have for you and their lack of being able to be emotionally truthful in the same way you are. They could not meet you on the same level and have that emotional truth and honesty and you know, you deserve someone better, my collectives. If you are able to have that emotional truth and honesty with someone, you deserve someone who has the same amount of effort into relationships or has the same amount of emotional maturity. And this person is not emotionally mature because they threw away a beautiful friend, a beautiful relationship, a beautiful person in their life who was very supportive of them over a karmic cycle. A dumb one at that. Like, I'm feeling for most of you, this was a dumb karmic cycle over some selfish, materialistic shit. Yeah, this person does not deserve to be in your life.